All right, guys. Sorry I didn't get anything posted up Thursday, but, uh, you know, I'm pretty busy right now. Anyway, I got a couple of letters this week. Uh, first one came from uh, Emma's Spare Room Machine Shop. Let's see if I can get this in where you can see here. Apparently, I can't. <laughs> anyway, so she sent me a couple of these stickers. I'll put one up here over the lathe. And uh, anyway, I think uh, I saw on your card that you do vintage sign painting. So did you do the artwork for this? Anyway, that's very nice. I like. I always like this image. Anyway, so we'll put that one up. And uh, I got another one too. And this one came from uh, Randy Richards. And he sent me a couple of his stickers. One of those. And then a whole pile of these here. And a couple of the round ones. These are all pretty nice stickers. So I'll put one of them up there, probably one of these. I don't know why I'm going to do all these other ones. Um, and I have another one. I've had this one for a little while. Uh, but this came from uh, Ox Tool Co. Um, you know, Tom Lipton, he lives over in the Bay Area, uh, which is not too far from me. I've visited his shop before. And, uh, it's like going to the toy store, you know, being over there. Anyway, so we're going to put all three of these up. Let's have a look. All right, guys. Uh, you can see I've already got one here from uh, Keith Rucker over at Vintage Machinery. If you, if you don't watch his channel, uh, you're really missing out because he, he puts out really good content. So anyway, I think uh, first one we'll put up here. Just, uh, aphids crawling around on the wall here for some reason, but we'll stick Randy Richards up here. And... Uh, I guess we'll put Mr. Lipton's up over here. I kind of try to keep it out of the firing line of the chuck. Uh, just over here to the left, there's a little bit of oil slung on this wall. So I don't want to get my stickers all messed up. Anyway, and then we've got Emma's. By the way, Emma, if you did do this artwork, I might, uh, I might need to talk to you about doing the banner or something maybe for my channel because uh, I don't have the tools or anything to be able to even really get these sort of an image in a file I don't, I don't you know i just know how to make chips i guess this is <laughs> artwork is not my strong suit anyway uh, i'm i'm waiting for one more from uh from bob mullins at the bison workshop i i know i asked him for one but i don't know if i gave him my my address or not bob if you need my address just leave a message in the comments or something and i'll i'll give that to you Anyway, guys, um, got another thing of uh, interest. Let me turn the camera around here. All right, guys, got a couple other things of interest. Uh, first thing, I was talking to Mr. Evil Twin X after he posted his video showing his blacksmith's post drill that his, his father just gave him. And I think we might actually have the exact same model. Uh, it's funny because I've never seen my exact same model other than the one that I own. Uh, anyway, I'm going to borrow uh, the cam lever. It's a little L-shaped piece that rides on the eccentric. And uh, that's what powers the down feed. But anyway, we're going to try to mold that. That should look a lot better than uh, the one that I was envisioning. Uh, it'll be exactly as, as originally manufactured then. It's always preferred, right? Uh, the other thing which is really cool... Uh, I found a guy over in the Bay Area, which is about 60 miles away, who has a very old South Bend lathe, around 1920 or so. Uh, anyway, it's an old flat belt machine. Uh, he's moving, so he's going to give it to me for, for a very good deal. I'll see if I can get uh, some video footage of us moving the machine, and uh, hopefully nobody dies. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm really excited about that. It's a 15-inch swing, and weighs about 1500 pounds so it's it's going to be uh, quite an exercise in, in moving it anyway we'll see you guys around